I'm talking to one of my favorite characters in Gunsmoke. This is Newly O'Brien, Buck Taylor. Gee, it's great to see you again, Buck. Well, thank you, Betty, and thank you for that nice introduction. Well, how's the family and how's everybody on Gunsmoke? Well, they're all fine. Doc and Festus, I believe they're, uh, they're at a fair or at a rodeo somewhere, and if they're not doing that, they're probably arguing in the Long Branch <laughs> or something. You're going into your 16th season. Yes, ma'am, that's right. We've been on for 15 years, and we're... We're working on our 16th season right now. Uh, I've been with them for three years and uh, working on my fourth. A great bunch, I think. Well, they sure are. You've met uh, Doc Candy. and Festus. Oh, and, yes. Uh, it's, I want to tell you folks out there that these are the four nicest people I've ever run across. They're professional actors. There's no uh, jealousy that sometimes with actors you have, uh, uh, one of them gets mad because they have a bigger part than the other or something like that, but not in this case. They're... Uh, they just give, and I think that's why uh, why the show's a success. You grew up with a sort of a theatrical background, didn't you, Buck? Well, yes, I did. My dad was in vaudeville, met my mother. They were both in vaudeville. And uh, they got married, and then my dad went into movies. And uh, he played the sidekick to uh, people like uh, the Durango Kid, Wild Bill Elliott, Tex Ritter. <laughs> and now he's still in movies, and in fact... Uh, have you seen a movie called A Man Called Horse? No. Well, he's in that. He plays a trapper. I'm going to go uh, see it. Please do. <laughs> he plays trapper. He plays a, a trapper. A trapper. And uh, I don't know what his name is in it, but uh, he's quite a character. And your wife also was an actress. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, she she gave it up when we got married about ten years ago. And uh, I think it's worked out probably for the better. I think yeah, one, one career and a family is enough. <laughs> Two kids. I wonder where you got the name of Tiffany. Tiffany? That was my wife's uh, kind of decision on that. Of course, I decided with her, but uh, uh, it sound, I think it goes good with Taylor, Tiffany Ann Taylor. Tiffany Ann Taylor. And, the boy's uh, name is Adam. Is Adam, and uh, we're going to have another one in October. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Mark, now listen, you were a gymnast uh, mm -hmm. for many years. Are you still active? I still work out. I don't compete anymore, but... Uh, I'll go to the park and I'll work out and do the flips and uh, double flyaways, if you know what that is. It's a double somersault. I do that off the horizontal bar and off the rings both. And uh, I run, you know, try to stay in shape as much as I can because the hardest thing about acting is staying in shape. <laughs> but now, how? Buck, you were a stuntman, weren't you? Well, uh, not primarily, but being an athlete and, uh, and a gymnast, I thought that perhaps I could... Uh, break into acting by doing stunts, and, and it's very difficult to get into either one of them. But I, I did do some stunts. Uh, in fact, I doubled Ray Walston on My Favorite Martian one time. It's an inter interesting experience because I had a scene with Ray, as the, he was the Martian, and I was an astronaut, and uh, he was trying to become an astronaut, and I was in the gymnasium with him, and I said, "Well, before you can become an astronaut, you have to do all this." Uh, all these exercises on this apparatus, you know, the horizontal bars and all that. And he said, well, there's nothing to that. And he goes over there, leaves me, and then they cut to me watching myself because <laughs> I was doubling him in his, in his wardrobe with a blonde wig on, and I did all the, uh, the routines and all the apparatus. Then after I finished, he, in the same costume, came back and came up to me and said, uh, what do you think? And I said, well, my gosh, that's pretty good. <laughs> and a, a very strange thing, because here it was on film, and the people didn't know it, but I was there watching myself do all these tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Funny sensation. You've had a lot of different jobs, though, haven't you, Doug? Yes, I think most actors have. Uh, I was uh, I used to hang drywall. I moved furniture, parked cars, um, cleaned out stables, <laughs> stalls, and, you know, you name it. You lived on a ranch, didn't you, when well, you were a youngster? Uh, I didn't. We didn't actually have a ranch, but I lived near a ranch, and uh, in order to ride their horses, I uh, had to do all the work around That's there. That's kind of your ambition to own a ranch someday, isn't it? Yes. My wife and I like horses. I have I have some now, but I don't keep them on my property. Uh, but I'd like to have a ranch, and I look like in Utah and uh, Arizona. Uh, the problem is commuting to work. Well, partner, you know. <laughs> You're in your 16th season, and I hope Gunsmoke goes another 16th season. I do, season. too, Betty. I really do. Here on Channel 7 on Monday night at 7.30. Thank you, Buck Taylor. Great to Thank see you. Thank you. Always nice seeing you. Thank you.